Hi friends, Amanda here from Fun Hands on Learning. In today's video, we are going to take a look at this new activity, Shape Bingo. This is going to practice 2D shapes, so just regular shapes, and 3D shapes. So if your students are working on a geometry unit, this would be a great add-on to your curriculum. All right, so let's take a look at the basic 2D shape bingo, and you play both of the bingos the same way. This activity comes with an activity card that gives you the directions on how to play it, and there are a couple of different bingo cards that you can pass along to your students. I'm a homeschool mom, so I would play this with just a couple of students and myself. If you're just one-on-one -on -one with a student, you can take one card, they take one card, and just play it with two people. These are the call-out cards. You want to put them upside down, and then you have someone flip it over. Generally, that would be the teacher. And the teacher would see it, but the other you know, students would not. And you would call out the shape. So you would say octagon. If they have that shape on their mat, they're going to use manipulatives to cover it up. I have some buttons here, so I would cover up my octagon. You could use buttons, you could use, I just have some like connector toys, um, or you could even just use shapes if you have enough shapes that match your board. And I'm just going to use the buttons here. So you call octagon, of course you would put that one behind, and then you flip over the next one. Heart, you would call heart. If they have a heart, they would cover it up. The way to win is to get four in a row or to fill up the entire card. So that would be the 2D shapes. And then the 3D shape cards, you use them exactly the same. Here's what they look like. Except for you're going to use the 3D shape call out cards. So you would turn them upside down again call out the first one. Cylinder, cylinder. If they have a cylinder, you're going to cover it up and you're going to keep going until someone gets a four in a row or they fill up their card. So that is Shape Bingo. I really hope your students enjoy this activity and as always, until next time, happy learning. Bye.